like 250 hats for $50. That's gonna be awesome. So we are going with some friends. Oh yeah. <laughs> all right, so we just got these all right here. These boxes, cool stuff. Well, we made it, we made the deal. It was a very good pickup. We actually got more than what uh, what we what we bargained for, right? A lot more. So we are very excited. We're picking up some dinner right now here in uh, Sisters, Oregon. And uh, this place is really cool. There's a lot of hat shirts, a lot of uh, tobacco stuff. Oh. Get off. Um. Yes, he can. Oh man. Throw away that. bits. It's that big, is that K-Brand? Hey guys, what's up? Beckett Hats here. This is part two of my sister's hat haul that I did. 360 hats that we got on this trip and we're gonna show you uh, probably about a quarter of those right now. I won't go into detail on all of them, but um, we're probably gonna end up doing another video of this haul. So you're gonna have to watch them all. And if you wanna see part one, that will be yesterday's video. You can go ahead and check that out now before watching this one or hang out with me and let's see uh, let's see what we got. So let me go ahead and give you a little background on this again. Uh, I went on Craigslist and I saw an ad on there for 250 vintage hats. And uh, I was like, oh boy, that'll be so cool. Um, and tried to convince my wife to go. At the time she was like, yeah, I don't really want to. The pass is probably gonna be snowy and just not very safe. So we ended up having uh, breakfast with uh, our friends, Scott and Jen, and uh, she's like, uh, we're sitting there at the uh, eating breakfast, and I was like, tell them the story about how I saw these hats on Craigslist. I was like, oh, these are really cool. I'd really like to go and get them. And uh, then it went into detail about uh, the, the seller, about how I came across them and what I talked to him about. And uh, anyway, long story short, it ended up being her dad, which was amazing. And uh, they're like four hours away from us and it's just like crazy how it happened. So it ended up being her dad and we drove all the way from here uh, in the Portland metro area, all the way down to Sisters. And uh, yeah, it was crazy how it happened. But we had a fun time, it was great, a great trip. Um, yeah, and so that's the background on it. Let's go ahead and dive into these hats, huh? And um, just to let you know, I'm probably gonna save all the corduroy for the end. And my favorites I saved, I'm gonna save for the next video. The next video or the video after that, there's quite a lot of hats to go through. So anyway, let's get into it. This should be probably in my, uh, in my really good box of hats out of the group, but I'll show it to you right now. So this will be a K brand. That's really cool. And again, a lot of these hats have never been worn. So um, very few of them uh, had some foam problems, but for the most part, these hats are like vintage brand new, I guess dead stock, right? So um, anyway, yeah, these hats are in great condition. I can't wait to list these. I can't remember what they call it, like a high dome? Pirates, right? Is that right? Anyway, that's a really cool hat. Twins, Boston MA. It's a medium large hat made in Taiwan. These ones too, I also should have saved uh, for my for my good box. I really like these. I don't, for, I, I think these are gonna go pretty quick. This is Giants Bill Super Bowl uh, foam trucker hat. Screen printed on the front there. Snap is in great condition. This hat is just in nice condition. Uh, here we go, we have a... Uh, Sunday, January 30th, 1994, Super Bowl, Georgia Dome, Atlanta. And on the back, it has the uh, Enjoy Coca-Cola Classic, AMF Bowling Centers as well on the back there. And it's done in that like light 
uh, fabric. Not like the heavy foam or, or heavy fabric or cloth fabric. It's like really like windbreaker material is kind of what it is. But yeah, that's really cool. Um, we have another Super Bowl one, 1999, Miami, Florida. And this one's pretty clean too, and it still has a sticker on it. All right, let's see. This, I believe, is a hockey team. I'm not sure which hockey team, but I'm assuming that's a whale tail. That was a nice snapback foam trucker. And it does have a sticker inside, the NHL sticker. So, some of these are gonna be doubles too. Like, I have two of these guys here. Uh, there's a lot of maritime stuff in here. Marcom Inc. Snapbacks. Those ones are Youngin, Youngin brand. Those there. Uh, we have West Coast wire rope and rigging. That's done in that puff paint on the front. Snapback. Here we got a uh, Dillingham ship repair, big patch, vintage. I believe uh, it's made in USA. Uh, Adjust the tab is the brand of that one. And this one's like all foam. <clears throat> see if I can go through these quicker here. Snow roof systems. That's a nice hat. I'm also going to keep the K brand ones separated as well. United Cash and Carry. United Grocers Cash and Carry. It's a pretty cool logo. It's a youngin as well. FE4 Ferris. So, let's get into the Marlboro. Uh, Marlboro, and there's also some Winston hats in here. So these will all be the, kind of the tobacco category. So here we have a Winston. Embroidered front. Has the Winston tag on it there. This one's cool. It's got like a gecko on the front. Uh, yeah, it's a racing 90s, I believe, hat. It's got the marble on the back, embroidered, with the embroidery on the front. Should probably keep those ones out, actually. Here's another racing 1992 Marlboro. Snap. I don't, yeah. Uh, these are a couple of Winston hats. Uh, the wrap, only Winston hat has it. Those two are the same. Here's uh, the same only in, it's in white. This one does have an embroidery on the back, say Winston. Here's a camel hat. Camel on the front. Also has embroidered camel, camel on the back. Uh, here's another, the gecko, oh, there's a couple of them here. The gecko, and it has the marble guy on the back. This one is really cool. I'm not really sure. I, I doubt it goes for a lot on eBay or on Poshmark or any any place, but I thought this was really cool. It's got the snake, multicolored snake on there embroidered. And then the big marble embroidery on the back with the embroidery on the side too. So that one I thought was really cool. It's a strap, le leather strap back with the metal clasp. Like, you know, never worn. Here's another M. This one has uh, embroidery on the side and the back. It's got the guy riding the horse. His hat's falling off. <laughs> That's really cool. And then another racing marble. This one has embroidery on all four sides here. There, there, there. This Goodyear one's really neat. I really like the, the
the bill on this. That's cool. Good year. American Triumph, American Seafoods. Again, that's done in like a uh, like a weather breaker material. Some neon, American Empress, some more uh, maritime shipping hats. That's really cool embroidery. Old Town Saloon, that's really neat. Couple Boeing hats here. There's the neon pink or the hot pink, whatever you want to call it. And we also got it in the orange. Both of them are snapback. And then uh, Tom and Jewie's. Juana, Oregon. Neon green, that's probably hard to show up. Neon greens and orange is usually hard to, for, uh, to photograph. But that one's got the zipper, adjustable zipper in the back. Little Hawaiian print, Tom and Jewies. Snapback. Husqvarna camo, snapback. Oh, this one's really neat looking. Polar Star, golden shellback. Look at the, it's done in like that puff paint. That's really cool. Ketchikan, Alaska vintage embroidered patch. Clean, like super clean. Oh, okay. So I have already listed is like uh, in my Poshmark. I already have like a bunch of Hawaii hats in there. Well, not a bunch, a couple, a few. So I'm adding one, two, three, four, five more, and they're all different colors. So here's here's the hot pink, and it's done in the puff paint. The ones that I have uh, listed on Poshmark, I believe are embroidered, but I think most of these are all done in the puff paint. So there's that one. <clears throat> we got neon green. We also have a blue. And they all have that berated rope on the brim. Here's a gray and blue. And here we got uh, black and yellow, or black and gold, I guess. So I might, I don't know, I'll either list them individually or bundle them all together, I don't know. Haven't made up my mind yet. Keep going. Let's keep going. All right, Rockmore. International Rock Drilling. This one's done in uh, red and black, and so is the other one, but the other one looks a little different. Here it is. That's pretty cool embroidery there. Uh, Warehouser. This one's like all, uh, I think, wool. Is that one a Cape brand? No. Here's a trucker hat. It's pretty cool. Motor freight. Done in the puff paint. Ronald Associates other strap back this one's really neat I really like this one Atlas foundry and machine that one's really cool it's one of those hats that's all foam it's a designer award hat but this one's really cool uh, a couple of uh, key set Titan hats here they're both the same snapback uh, 
This has got some cool colors. RJ's Wichita, Wichita Pub, Tualatin, Oregon. I'd like to play a show here sometime. Also in a band. You guys can look up uh, Forest Grove Outlaws. Uh, let's see, uh, yellow freight truck hat. A couple of these are the same here. Uh, it's a marine company. Picture of a ship on there. Really cool color scheme. So two of those, those are like the all foam hats again too. Eagle, windows and doors. And another key set. Uh, Marine Propulsion Services. Patch hat there. Uh, Helser Brothers Transfer Company, HMB. That's really neat. That's a Youngin brand. Deck Department, SS Kenai. That is cool. That's a neat hat. So this one is missing the snap. But uh, we can remedy that. This one's really nice. Camo. It's got the ducks on there. And yeah. That's really neat. Uh, Waste Management Inc. Official Supplier. It's a big patch hat with the thick berated rope. Leather strap back on that one. Uh, TDE, Transportation Data Exchange. The brown and orange always is, is a cool trucker hat. Hunter orange, <laughs> is that what you can call it, I guess? All right, let's keep digging in this box. This is my biggest box that I got here, so. Uh, stack heat treaters. That's it. Winham baseball sports cap American President Lions that's a neat one we got two of these hatch hatch hats <clears throat> Saab tank radar R&D Inc. SS R&D Inc. It's kind of thinking on those uh, ones that might not be worth listing individually. I'll probably do like a, a bulk deal, like maybe 10 hats in one deal for like 20 bucks, something like that. For like the, the foam trucker hats. Uh, lips, propellers, here's another maritime hat. get off my donkey this hat is 1985 Los Angeles that's good that's that's cool if you saw my uh, if you saw the first video <laughs> uh, Jen does a good job of showing that hat off by the way uh, boss mostly all these are gonna be the foam trucker hats think snow that's pretty cool embroider or uh, puff paint. Yeah, no, that's actually done in uh, felt. Yeah, that's a must have been an iron on or something felt. Uh, safety. This ship's moto. So another maritime ship. And then uh, let's see. Devo merit. Marine paint and coatings. I think there's a couple of those in there. I just haven't gotten them together All right, let's dig in let's dig deeper and our freight systems it's neat. This one here you kind of need to read one way or the other to understand it, but I'll just uh, let you imagine what it says polar sea 
All right, we're gonna be getting into some, uh, are these, oh, save that one with that match over there. Okay, here's another safety, this ship's motto hat. Got a couple of those somewhere. Gotta get them together. Another Oregon Waste Systems. Here's a waste management. Uh, I may be getting older, but I refuse to grow up. One of those uh, novelty hats, I guess. And then out of all these, I think this was my only vintage blank. And I do have a collection of blanks, vintage uh, blank hats going. And I'll probably put all those together and sell them as a bundle. Lexel, that's a cool looking uh, embroidered hat there. This hat was worn. This set, it's a fitted, the only fitted hat in here, I think. Uh, Boeing, there are, there are some Boeing hats in there. You saw the neon green and the neon orange. This one here is a, a Boeing patch. Uh, let's see. Response team. Portland response team. Emergency Boeing response team. Yeah. Fat Harvey's truck stop. <laughs> That's a cool one. Uh, we got a Greyhound. Greyhound Park hat. The racing dogs. Philadelphia Sun. This is a cool maritime hat. Snapback. Pretty good sized patch on there. West Coast Wire Rope. <laughs> That's a full insulated hat. Uh, WSI, West State Inc. These hats are really cool and uh, Jennifer actually kept one of these hats. Uh, she was the gal that was in one of my friends that was in the the first video She kept a brown brown and orange one and she thought it looked cool because it kind of looked like vans like the vans logo So there's a couple of these in here and there's also a couple of embroidered ones or uh, Well embroidered but uh, corduroy ones as well So we'll show those probably towards one of the in one of the other videos that I'll do Let's see. Here's another novelty one. The world for the day. The word for the day is legs. Let's. Well, you can go ahead and kind of guess, but or just read it yourself. Here we go. We have a. I'm not sure what logo. I mean, it's an A, obviously, but I don't know what company that goes for, or, or sports team, or whatever. Because it's not green, so it's not athletic A's. Uh, let's see, Cutting Tools Company. Uh, these colors don't run or burn. Uh, Velvet Keg. That's neat. Join the green team. Insulation Products. Madrona Grill. Portland, Oregon. All right. We're getting towards the end of this box. Here's another Devo Maritime. So I did set the other one aside so I can get those together. Sun, Philadelphia Sun. Rockwood, Import Auto Repair. This next hat's really cool, I like it. A vintage igloo hat. You know, like the coolers there, huh? Yeah. Right. <clears throat> I almost did. I'm not sure about this one. It says Guy Harvey. I'm sure. I'm sure he's an artist, and it sounds familiar. But Cayman Islands Guy Harvey, or maybe it's like a resort. But I kept the hat. It's the only strap back. Well, I mean, there's leather strap backs that I kept, but it's the only cloth strap back one that I kept. I got to look that one up and see see if it's worth anything. But it is. It is vintage. So who knows, sometimes those uh, embroidered hats that are done by artists are worth some money. Uh, New Tradition Homes, just a, it's a wool vintage hat. 
This guy here, I've never seen a Nike bowling snapback vintage hat. I mean, it's not in the best of conditions. It's one of the hats out of out of this uh, haul that has been worn, but it's really cool. Recycle America, Nighthawk Express. Got a vintage Disney one here. Mickey Mouse on there. Uh, Sealand Trader, another maritime hat. United Welding Supply, I think I already showed you that one there. So this might be a duplicate of another one in there. Grand Canyon State, Patch Hat. Second Chance Saloon, Bethany. Rooster Tail. Oh, it's a bait. Fishing tackle. Uh, let's see here. Blackjack hat. Portland Packaging Company. It's got a dude building a box on there. Looks like a Sansun hat. A vintage wool GOP grand old party hat. I'm sure that'll sell here in Portland. Uh, Gibson Homans. Uh, okay. Let's keep going here. We're just gonna go ahead and finish this box up, and then I'll wrap the video up, and then I'll probably do another one tomorrow. Member of Team Leon, Lennon, Leon. Linux is a home run. Embroidered hat here. Old Cub Scouts hat. Polar Star. Okay, so we're getting in. There was a. I got like seven or eight of these um, uh, military hats. Uh, Polar C. This one has a actual uh, hat pin in there that's really neat here's a polar star here's another polar C USS Mount Hood that one is probably gonna sell the first out of all these USS Duluth Hugh McNiven. So that, that's it for the military hats. Uh, Friday Harbor, Washington. Got some friends that live up there. Yeah. All right, last stack in the box here. We care recycling hat. Waste management of Oregon. Machinists, uh, let's see, International Association of Machinists and Aerospace Workers, that's neat. Another trucking yellow hat. This one here, a friend of mine told me, uh, actually Scott, he was in the last video as well, uh, that Disney does this where you can have your hats custom made with your name embroidered with your name on it this one says Rob and it's got Mickey Mouse on the front and it's uh, done in the red white and blue Northwest testing laboratories this one's neat blackjack fireworks vintage snapback Here, Builder Supply Alaska. This one I couldn't really tell. I had to take another look at it just because I think when they screen printed it with the puff paint, it smeared or it just kind of trippy with your eyes. But it's that the raisins, I heard it through the grapevine. Uh, RW Software Systems. 
kind of a cool brown oranges color. Easter Seal Softball KWJJ Marathon. And another Stax Heat hat. So yeah, well, you guys can see, but we've already seen that one. So that's it for this box. I have one, two, three more boxes to go through. One box is all corduroy. Another box is some of my favorites. And then the last box that I'll show you in the next video, that will be like the ones that I think are probably worth more, worth the most out of, out of all of them. But yeah, that was uh, quite a bit of hats there. Um, so let's see, I got hats everywhere in here. There's just not enough time to list. Thanks for watching. Uh, we will go ahead and see you probably tomorrow. I'll try to get another video done tomorrow. If not, it'll be the day after, but most likely I should have some time tomorrow. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Everybody have a great day. See you later.